Uh, thank you so much, Janice, for those generous words. Um, I'm, I'm very honored. Um, I've heard a lot of award talks in my day, so I know that brevity is the better part of wit. Um, I will try to, I will, I will stay brief. Um, as, as, as Ken and, and Janice emphasized, uh, I think the evidence-based movement in policy is very important. Um, my wife, Barb Mallers, who is with me here today, uh, is my collaborator in the work on forecasting with U.S. intelligence communities. It's been going on now for several years. And um, I'll, I'll just say one very brief story. And that is, um, and I think it indicates there is a shift in the um, um, in, in mindset that's going on gradually, uh, haltingly. It's not linear, uh, but it's going on. Um, about Six years ago, when Barb and I were still on the faculty at the University of California, Berkeley, uh, we received a visit from three gentlemen from the Office of the Director of National Intelligence uh, who proposed to do something that I was simply astonished uh, that they were willing to do. Uh, they were willing to set up a level playing field forecasting tournament in which um, intelligence analysts who had access to classified information would compete against um, outsiders. Uh, and they were challenging uh, various academic uh, teams uh, to come up with the best combinations of outsiders they could to do their best, to, do, uh, to, to um, out predict intelligence analysts on outcomes of national security relevance. Uh, I was simply astonished they're willing to do that. It's a $50 billion bureaucratic behemoth that's uh, giving small, multi small million dollar grants to assorted academic teams. It's a bit like. Um, uh, Goliath lending David money to develop a slingshot. Uh, it's, it's, it's the basic laws of bureaucracy 101 say this should not happen, but it did happen, and it, it's quite remarkable, and these forecasting tournaments continue to this day, um, and I'm privileged to work on them with Barb, who without whom none of this would have happened. So thank you very much.